find you in a better place <laughs> Hi! <laughs> What's up? Oh man. I'm a sleepy girl. I am so sleepy. Not enough Hannah vision. There you go. Is it better now? Do you have enough now? Is she consistently late or is she on time? I'm on time for the amount of times I have been late. At that point, it's uh. Yeah, it's all up in the air. But Shadowblade and Orca, thank you so much for resolving. You guys are the sweetest. 1207. Go back to bed. I seriously thought about What's up, Nelson? How are you? Do it well? Might be better after a few more years of membership. <laughs> Maybe. I doubt it. I really don't think so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh. It's like. Oh, I'm lower. Oh, I am lower. Sorry about that. Like Is this better now? It should be better. I like turtles. Okay, now we got our I like turtles. Let me make sure everything else is all good audio wise. Kitty baby, I love you. She's like, this is great. There's gonna be two streams today. Two of them. I am glad to be back. I absolutely am. That's my elbow. Why do you want my elbow? Stop it. Now you're the boss hoss for volume? Hell yeah. Fuck that shit. Um, the volume. Okay, so now that I'm using Monster Cat, the volume is a little funky because I have it almost all the way down on my um, my Monster Cat player, but it's still like hella loud. But it's in a web browser, so if I, I can't like turn it down without turning everything else down too, which isn't terrible. It's just uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit interesting. Oh man, how have you guys been? How's your Tuesday so far? I can't believe it's already Tuesday. Kitty cat. You actually can? If you go to the sound panel? In, uh, well if I go to the sound panel, it just does Chrome as a whole. Is there a way just to do one window? Because if I can do just one window, that would be awesome. I would love that. Makes me think of Joe Cat. Joe Cat? What's Joe Cat from? That, why does that sound so familiar? Sounds freaking awesome. Hi B, what's up? How are you? You doing good? Jeez. Okay, you just tweaked your back by turning to look at your cat so things are swell. I think it's important to stretch. That, that's why you, you make your cat turn to look at you. See? It's like this. This is how you... you hello. I love you. Mm. I got a kiss. <laughs> she doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> She's like, eh. Missed you. Happy to have you back. How was the trip? It went. It went well enough. Um, what am I bruise that bruise on my stomach? I don't know if it's getting better or worse, but it's looking hella weird. So I'm just like, oh, I hope this goes away soon. This is, this is kind of, looks like I got hit with a paintball at this. Just, just, just a, oh my goodness, this cat. I'm just gonna rub her her little face until uh, she stops. Turns out she's not gonna stop. She really enjoys that. So I've had to switch things around a little bit on my desk. You guys can't fully tell, but I, no. <laughs> get away, kitty! <laughs> Stop! I have my I have my Doug Trio out. <laughs> Rickets is like you should look at me, or just ask Nasser since he's in Nasser. So Nasser's a doctor, but he's a doc of nuclear engineering. It's a very different type of doctor. I would not trust him with that. Um, I'm gonna wait a few more days and see if it starts really looking weird or if it looks like it's getting better. It's just like there's an obvious dot in the center where you could tell where the injection was that's white and then everything like goes from it. That's the weird part where I'm just like, Ooh, I don't know, maybe I should ice it? Oh, one of those doctors on a non-medicine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's one of those doctors. But it's funny, because whenever he, he accidentally lies to me, I'm just like, I trusted you, you were a doctor. And he was like, I'm not that kind of doctor! And I'm like, hey, hey, I'm gonna tell everyone that you are. <laughs> it's all fun. 
Um, you can now call him Dr. Douche Canoe, by the way. Uh, that is that is his newest nickname, so feel free to just, when he's in here, just be like, oh, hi, Dr. Douche Canoe. But it has to have Dr. Douche and Canoe all, all together. <laughs> Sir, Dr. Douche Canoe. Exactly. Exactly. Uh-huh. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You are so sweet. But why are you so, why are you so sweet right now? I've already fed you. Like, it's so early. You're not... What you want from me, baby? What you want? Oh, you're so... I just brushed you, too. Why are you so shedy still? Turns out we just have, like, a cat brushing stream. It's all cat brushing ASMR. She loves to be brushed, though. She's a very happy kitty. Okay. So, I'm thinking... In, like, 15 minutes or so... Maybe a little bit. Actually, I might just go right into it. I don't know. Um, I'll move everything over to the art side. And we'll get moving on that. The doctorate in applied douche canoeing? <laughs> yeah, that works for me. That totally works for me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. I, can't, I will say, I'm really excited to eventually go back to working out. I didn't realize how much I would miss it, but, like, my body misses it. When's your birthday stream starting on Friday? Oh, on Friday, it's going to start at 6 p.m. There, there's no noon uh, stream on Friday. Sunday was the one I was thinking about moving. Um, just because um, Saturday night is when I'm celebrating my birthday with my friends. So chances are I might not be up at noon. So I'll probably end up moving the Sunday one um, a little bit later. Birthday's so close. What's your birthday, Orca? Hopefully you have fun plans for it. I'm pretty much gonna take mine super chill. Like, oh, it was last Thursday? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's kitty hair on my nose now. Um, yeah, I don't usually do anything like wild and crazy for birthdays. Usually I just stay home because I'm an introvert and I just dedicate that day to myself, kinda. But um, one of my friends, well, two of my friends' bands two separate bands, are playing at the same place. Uh, so I'm gonna go see them, I think, for my birthday. And we'll probably hang up, air hang out a little bit later too, but we'll see how it goes. We'll just see. Battle of the birthday bands. Yes. And this is also gonna be the first birthday that I probably won't drink at all, which is kind of interesting. It's just like, you know, I'm just... I don't know. I can't. I don't handle the alcohol well. Welcome back. How the hell are you? Have you been out from the egg step? Yes. Yeah. That's that's why I've been gone. Um, the two week hiatus was because I was um, in Chicago and all that taken care of. Um, so now I'm in recovery. I can I can pick things up a little bit better, which is great. I was able to do my laundry. Yay, kitty cat. No. And um, I can't kick, pick up anything heavy though. Like I can't do the crazy grocery trips yet. But I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. So we'll see how this week goes in general. I'm I'm a bit... I don't want to say hesitant. I was a bit nervous about doing this week's schedule full time. Um, because I don't know how I'm going to feel mid midweek. Because I still have some other recovery stuff that's going to end up kicking in and kicking my butt a little bit. So if I have to ditch a morning stream or something, I will let you guys know. But I should be good for all the evening streams, I think. Um, if not, though, usually I'm pretty good at giving heads up. I know. I never do. I never give head times. I don't know. It's, it ends whatever the fuck I feel like it ending. Kinda, you know. It could it could go on for a while. It, it could it could go on for like an hour. It depends. So no one would ever know. <laughs> That's true. Go live for like 10 minutes and be like, Alright guys, I'm going back to bed. Fuck this shit. Being alive is painful. <laughs> just me. Yes, just just me. I would know. I would always know though. Oh god. It's so strange too to think that today is Tuesday and I'm streaming in the middle of the day. The hell is this shit? Being a full-time streamer is weird. <laughs> Santa would know as well. You're totally true. Tons of shots and stuff, right? You've looked into it. It's so much more involved than I ever thought. Yes. I had uh, the wonderful pleasure of having 34 shots to my tummy. 
<laughs> Over the span of 14 days. It was a lot. It was definitely a lot. Hi, Sarah. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely very intensive. The, the actual act of, like, getting the shots and stuff wasn't bad. It's more so what the shots do to your body. That kind of stuff was a little bit more brutal than I was expecting. Like, the whole last week, I was pretty much stuck in bed. Um, because I couldn't really walk well. Like, it was just like, oh, It accelerates things really fast. Really, really fast. Awake before I go back to sleep for the midnight show. Oh, you got the midnight tonight? Oof. Miracle on 34th shot. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's what it was, except for no angel got their wings. Um, but a lady did get some eggs, so does that count? Like, I'm not sure. It says out of stock? That's weird. It shouldn't. Let me go ahead and check on that. Do, do, do. Is it just turned off? It's not turned off. It shouldn't. I have no idea why. Mm. Everything should be turned on in regards to those. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why it says it's out of stock for you. It says out of stock for you too? Does anything else say out of stock? Because, I mean, it's it's a brand new stream. It shouldn't. Everything should reset. Let me go into it on here. Toritos. It says Tritos are out of stock too? Pasta check. Why, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like turtle. Dark Mall Robo Legs is the only solution. I would that sounds pretty good. I would I would take them. Hi Castle! Thank you so much for resubbing for ten fucking months! It's good seeing ya. So is lipstick? What? All of mine are even up on Okay, so Sarah can do it. Yeah. <laughs> we have a cat cam. Now we got oh my god, we, we're all over the place. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's back. How strange. I have no idea. Wonder if it just takes a little bit of the stream being live until it kicks in. No, that's not true because treats get picked for cats all the time. Oh, I like turtles. Koi, thanks for gifting us up. Okay, if we're gonna do cat cam, I'm gonna give the kitty cat a treat too. It's only fair. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Okay, move your butt back. There you go. There's your cat cam. And then we will do the two tarots. We'll start with the wonderful Sarah. And then we will go and do size. About the party when you walked in, apparently. Apparently, apparently, apparently. Mm-hmm. You're doing good? Wonderful. That makes me happy. I am doing well. I am a little bit exhausted, but I will be fine. I will probably take a nap after this stream. <laughs> and then I will do a little bit of cleaning. That's what I'm thinking. This little cat is so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna need a nap. I'm still like only at partial energy. Like one weird side effect that I have from the whole thing is just like crazy brain fog. I am so foggy. Um, it's just really hard for me to focus on anything. Scary fur monster, I run for our lives. I know she's always cleaning already. It's the cat bed. You never went to bed. The computer worried you. So you guess who's napping soon? Oh my god. The cat is very efficient. All your emotes are huskies. Oh, that's so awesome. They're so cute. I love them. Whoever did your emotes did a wonderful job. All right. Sarah, here we go. Pass card. You got the ten of wands. Present card, you got the Five of Swords. Future card, you've got the Page of Swords in reverse. And advice card, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So first off, your Ten of Wands. My lovely dear, you, <laughs> you are doing so well, but also you're really overwhelmed and you're gonna have burnout. <laughs> or at least you've had burnout. Because you were taking care of everything. Because you felt like you had to. 
because I mean, if you're gonna achieve all the things that you want to achieve and you're doing well and keeping to your own standards, like you just have a lot going on and then you're just trying to cover all the bases. So here you are holding all of your sticks and struggle bussing it the whole way. Um, you might benefit from doing some delegation sometimes or saying no. Saying no can be hard. But also, it's important, because otherwise you're gonna end up dropping all your sticks and you have to pick ten of them up and it's like a pain in the ass. Where are you at now? You've got the Five of Swords. So, the Five of Swords is kind of a funny card to me, because it's like... It's a little bit of... I don't want to necessarily say like a power dynamic, but it kind of has a little bit of, of that involved with it. But it's kind of like... you. You have a skill set that's really good at achieving the goals that you have, but um, sometimes people get upset about that, <laughs> like of how you go about doing it. Like it may, it could be a little polarizing for some. And it's, it's just like, it's wonderful because you've got this unbridled like ambition and, but it's, it's like a mentality of like winning at all costs. And, and sometimes you might take some shortcuts and when you take shortcuts, people get a little slighted about it. So you, you gotta be careful because sometimes it can mean you can lose some friends because you aren't necessarily <laughs> being the sweetest <laughs> when you do your stuff, which is funny because it's you. <laughs> um, so there's that one. And then you also have the Page of Swords in reverse. So you, girl, you're just, you playing with swords all the time. I swear to God, you're always playing with swords. So this one is, <laughs> This is your future card, and it's saying that you're gonna be a little scatterbrained, maybe some cynicalness going on there, sarcastic, gossipy, insulting, rude, and lack of planning. <laughs> so, you know, if I could paint just a scenario that would fit into this situation, let's just say, <laughs> based off your past, present, and future card, you finally figured out like what you need to do in order to reach your goals or like where that goal point is, where that bar is that you want to hit. And you're like, okay, well, this is how, what I'm going to have to do in order to reach it. And you start working towards that. And then people start getting all sassy and, and bitchy and whatnot, which pisses you off. So then you're just like, fine, fuck this shit. <laughs> and then like you could potentially end up going into the, you know, job hunt, like hopping route or unsure about your future career choices, which is all a page of swords. Um, and, and then it may push you to potentially a different direction career wise, which is okay. Cause from what I've heard from you, you're kind of like not hell bent on staying there indefinitely anyway. But, uh, Things might seem like they're doing a little bit better, and then it might like take a little dip. So you might be on a little bit of a roller coaster. So your advice card, your advice card is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So let me get to that. I like turtles. I like turtles. I like turtles. Turtles are the best. What's up, nipples? You doing well? How's work? Is it going great? I'm sleepy. I'm so sleepy. Koi ASMR. Is that possible? Does Koi do ASMR? Haters gonna hate. Stand your ground. Mm-hmm. That's not me at all. Huh. Not at all. You're right. Absolutely not. Sarah would never, never, ever do any of those things. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Strapples. Oh, God. I don't know if he knows about it. Yeah, he does. I think he does. I think I told him. Nipples. Since 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 nipples are considered straws and straws are considered nipples, you are now strapples as well. Um, just because logic makes sense like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your advice card. Focus on positive changes, recovering from losses, and overcoming adversity, and forgiving the people around you. It's gonna help your mindset, and it's gonna bring you a lot more inner peace, whether or not you decide to stay in a situation, or you decide to leave and go to a new one. So even if you're deciding to leave at some point, try not to burn down bridges if you can. At least leave on like a solid neutral tone. Like, I know it's hard, and sometimes you just want to be like, here, here's a, a card that says I'm sorry for your loss, and then it's it's me kind of situation when you go. But um, there's there's other ways to do things. You might, if you, and if you end up going crazy when you do decide to leave at some point, you might lose some friendlies too. And no one would like that. Ugh, I have to forgive Allie. Okay, just because you forgive her does not mean you can't put down solid boundaries. 
But the thing about the boundaries that you're gonna go ahead and set is you need to be able to back them up and the consequences need to be realistic. So it can't be like, if you put me on another Sunday, I'm walking. And if she puts you on another Sunday, cause I'm sure she'll push your boundary, you gotta be willing to walk. So stuff like that. But there are things you can do, or you can just honestly try to have an actual conversation. Go buy her a coffee and be like, hey, I really need to talk to you about things because it's getting to the point where I am feeling uncomfortable and it is making it hard on my home life as well. And if they can't handle you coming to them in a business-like manner, in an appropriate way, that is on them and they will have to take that and deal with it on their end. Ah, oh, <laughs> Fidos, what's up, man? How are you? You doing well? Well, shit. Sweep her legs, don't sweep her legs. I like to bite, you like to bite your straws? Your little nipple straws. We got some cool news. You're flying back up to New England Thursday for a couple weeks to visit family. That sounds awesome. Congratulations. You go back to works now? Oak doke. Sai, I'm getting ready to do your reading. I'm glad I am back too. I am a sleepy girl. Right now? What about right now? Good advice. Also reading. Yes, thank you. Frames? Are we losing frames? Is things better? Right meow, is it because my name is Apple Meowtini? Oh my goodness. For this, how was your how was your freaking stream? Did you have fun? You were just chatting. What were you guys talking about? Meowdy. <laughs> I love that. Can you do a Miss Cleo voice with this reading? A Miss Cleo voice? I don't know if I even know who Miss Cleo is. It sounds familiar, but I don't know if I could could just whoop a whoop a voice out of out of my ass. I mean, it sounds like a, what? I would have to see like a clip or something. I don't have that one constantly in my backlog. You don't know? Famous late night fortune teller? Oh, I was asleep by like nine. I was, excuse me, in case you weren't aware, I, I come from an Asian family. We had bedtimes. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch that. The most famous scam artist on late night TV. Oh, really? I, I would have assumed that would have been like, I don't know, what's his butt? Dr. Phil or some shit. Ass voice, more farts, drink some milk. I don't, I don't know if I could do that. Okay, large and in charge. Cajun woman from the ninth. I'm looking this shit up real quick. Oh, she's highly Jamaican? Really? Okay. Miss Cleo. American Psychic. What is she doing now? Oh my god. She looks like a streamer. And when I say she looks like a streamer, I mean her background and shit would totally work in a streaming situation. Her name was Yuri Del Harris. She was an American television personality best known as Miss Cleo, a spokeswoman for a psychic pay-per-call service called Psychic Readers Network from 1997 to 2003. She used various aliases, including Cleo Millie Harris and Yuri Paris. Hmm. Interesting. She died at 53. Interesting. The more you know, the more you know. Oh my good. Yeah, seriously, she was an e-girl kind of. Uh, well, not that, I wouldn't say e-girl, but like she had all the crazy backgrounds with all the the e-girl e colors. Maybe. Yeah, I guess she died. You're playing Valorant and you're working on your 3D printer? Oh, that's freaking awesome. What are you gonna print? Maybe Hannah doesn't know who Miss Cleo is because she's Miss Cleo reincarnated. I, I'm flattered. I'm so flattered. I don't, I don't think that's the case, but maybe. I mean, I'm not necessarily a child either. I, I'm pretty close to 30. Um, if you consider 30 year olds children, then maybe. But you know, she's the OG streamer. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Maybe Hannah's the nose clue because, oh yeah, I did. I mean, I'm, I'm not old either. I don't know. I'm in that weird in between age. It's a pile of puzzles. That sounds awesome. I love that. I freaking love that. Not 30 yet? Whatever. Cleo died 13 years. Oh, she's 13 years older than you. Eagle Scouts or E-Girl Scouts? That would be a completely different thing. How do you get your badges? Are they just sub-badges at that point? I feel like they'd have to be sub-badges. Okay. 
Sai, are you ready for your reading? Sailor Scouts. That would work. That would totally work. I think I'd be Sailor Mars. Sailor Jupiter. Jupiter was pretty cute. All the things. All the things. Okay. It's go time. It's go time, Sai. I hope you're ready. You are two years younger, yet you don't know who Miss Cleo was. Believe it or not, some people didn't stay up late. I still don't stay up late. Except for last night, I came home at like 12.30. And Ben thought I was home the whole time. And when I came in, the light just turned on. I was like, hello? <laughs> it, it scared me. Putting you on the lowest volume possible and muting you so I still get the stream count. Thanks. They were all better than Moon. That's fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Sai. Your past card. You've got the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Present card. You have the Empress in reverse. You a bit sassy. You a bit sassy. Your future card. You got the Two of Swords in reverse. And <laughs> your advice card is the Five of Wands. <laughs> I don't understand why Twitch makes you leave the browser volume on. It's um, it's a little confusing. I don't know why they do either. Maybe it's just to limit like. How? I mean, you can only get three at one time too. So I, I'm not sure. Sometimes I just wonder if they make these hoops just to see if we'll jump through them. To be fair, most people do anyway. So it's like I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. But it's it's a kind of a strange one. All right. So you've got your nine of cups. And this is your past. Do 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 do. So you are having um. You're feeling satisfaction. You're doing good, right? You're feeling content with everything. You're starting to see some recognition for the things that you've been working on and putting lots of effort into, which is awesome. You are happy where you are at. You're just like, you know what? This is a kind of a comfy zone. You're sitting pretty. Um, you weren't necessarily worrying about things or like fighting and struggling for things. So you kind of had that moment of like in between rest. So that's where you were. The Empress in reverse. So the Empress is usually a card that puts emphasis on emotion. Um, like, they, it's like technically a feminine card, but it's not like feminine as a like woman card or anything like that. That's, that's not how it works. Um, but when it is upside down, it's just, it's kind of, it's a little different. So it's, it's about insecurity being a bit overbearing, maybe negligence or smothering, lack of growth and lack of progress. So it's like, you were doing pretty good and then you kind of hit this wall. And because you hit this wall and you're kind of like upsetting spaghetti because like you were doing great and you're, you were fine. And now you're just like, the fuck put this rock here? This, this rock fucking sucks. Um, and then you might be overcompensating emotionally on some things instead of trying to work through the actual issue at hand. So you could be a bit stressed. <laughs> You might just be a bit stressed, maybe feeling insecure, like, well, maybe the progress I made before wasn't true progress. That's not the case. That's not the case at all. Just because you've, you've reached an obstacle or a blockage, it doesn't mean that you're inadequate to begin with. Um, it just means that you're at a, a stage, it's like a skill check, right? And you just have to work through it so you can get to the next point. Um, it's not bad, but it does take a lot of emotional control sometimes and that could be hard. So you could be putting too much focus in some areas and not enough focus in others. Um, you're kind of just like in hyper, hyper drive. Extra rocks in pog holder. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So your future card, so this is what's coming up. You've got the two of swords and it's in reverse. So let's get to those. That's wands, you don't have wands. No wands for Gretchen Wiener. Okay. One more there, suit down. Boop, doop, doop, doop. I have made it to the two of wands. I did it. Oh, shit, swords. I'm fine, I promise. It's good, I'm sleepy. Um, so this card is about indecision. Hesitancy, anxiety, too much information, no right choice, truth revealed. So you're gonna find a few ways to get, aware, like, get around that block but you might have more ways to get around that block than you think, and it could be a bit overwhelming. And you could have some indecision based off of it because you might still have some of those hangups where you're just like, was the progress I made before really worth it? Am I a good cuddler? Who knows, right? Who knows? So you, you just need to take it slow, take some deep breaths and know that when there's different paths around something, that also means that 
there's multiple right answers. Like, don't be afraid to take a step just because you think there's other options or there could be one better. You still get to the same place. Like, maybe this this rock that was put into your way, like, it's much smaller than you actually thought it was and you could just step over it. Like, <laughs> you just gotta pick up your fucking foot or you can go around it. Or you can throw the rock or, or you can just, you know, you, there's all these different things that you can do. Um, but you're kind of getting tunnel vision and too focused in. So just go slow. Um, your advice card is the Five of Wands, which the card itself kind of makes me smile because it's a bunch of people fighting with sticks. Uh, and, just, and they're all just like, no, no, I no, like no. Turtles. I like turtles. Hello? Hi. I like turtles too. Lander, how are you doing? Hey, no scratchies. You can't scratch. No scratchies allowed. Hi, Brian. What's up? You guys doing well? Hi, Nimron. Um, not enough hands for the wands. There's plenty of people that have them. I tell you what. Um, so this is going to be telling you what to avoid. So you're going to want to avoid conflict, competition, arguments, aggression, tension, rivals, clashes of ego. The ego is going to be the main thing. You've got some pride. I know you well enough at this point. There's a little bit of pride there. Um, just, just let things happen. Oh my god, we have the turtle sound. <laughs> Thanks for the titties. Sarah, you're the best. Um... Yeah, just go slow and I have no pride. But, you, but you're a little lion and all the emotes because of Ramez. So it insinuates that there's a pride. There has to be a pride for all them lions. Um, just don't take the aggressive way around your obstacles. Work with people, not against them. Use them. Like, when I say use them, I don't mean like use people in a way that would be like upsetty spaghetti. I mean, people have such vast knowledges from all different angles from all of the different you know things they've been through talk to people see what they've done um someone around you could give you great advice so stuff like that oops oops did oops nursing a cold you just realize or and just lazing around mostly need to relight your fire for fitness though feeling happy to see you again missed you i'm happy to be back um it is nice i'm definitely still in recovery so like i don't have the same I am don't I'm not super energetic right now, but but I'm working it as best as I can. Um, so this stream might not be a super long one. I'll probably stop around two ish. I'm thinking, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to the art side of things. You're gonna withhold a fitness jug. Is it fitness pizza in your mouth? <gasps> Senpai noticed me. Did I did I tell you guys? So I if, if, for those of you that follow my TikTok, um, I made a TikTok about about an air freshener that would be pizza scented that way it would be uh really good for pizza sales for one but two warm pizza just smells really good okay and i like it so i made a tiktok about it and someone had tagged little caesars and they're like we're on it and i was just like oh my god senpai noticed me and it made me happy i was like can can i have pizza Anana? no okay Maybe one day. Pineapple on pizza equals higher sales. I agree. I like pineapple pizza. There's a delay between the image and sound here, and it makes you feel like you're too drunk to watch. Try um refreshing your page. Does anyone else have that problem currently? I'll refresh my page too. I wish I was sponsored by Little Caesars. That'd be interesting though, although I would definitely not be good for working out all the time. So you've only had Little Caesars when you were in Virginia. It was meh, but you can't argue the price point. See, that's the thing. It's hot. It's ready. You just do the thing, right? There's a little bit of a sound stutter. It's impossible to argue the five bucks. You never care about delay if there is one. Oh, fair enough. It's six dollars now? I didn't know that. Crazy bread's good. See, it's probably just that you're an ocean away. A whole ocean? Well, some of the things with Twitch have kind of been off today. Um, like, my redeems weren't active for some reason. And there's not really a way to activate them when they're already showing that they're active. So I wonder if it's on Twitch's end. Um, we'll see for the, the evening stream if things get better. If not, I will try to figure it out on my tech side. Um, if there's something that I need to do to correct for it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys cat cam. And I'm going to switch things over. Switchy, switchy, switchy things over gonna happen crimson thank you so much for continuing your sub sick of me yet over one year it has been over a year and no i'm not sick of you yet that'd be ridiculous why are the sounds see now the sounds on on the thing aren't working either 
I don't know. I don't know why things are being so weird. Hi, Trip. Thanks for the lurk. Why is Ricket so angry? Oh, yesterday Tina was bullying her. And when I say yesterday Tina was bullying her, I mean like big time. Oh, I don't need to see this. Guys, go check out Trip. What is what is this clip? I don't know what this clip is, but I love it. <laughs> oh, you're working? Hey, you saw this notification? You thought you jumped in while you're reheating your lunch? Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. That's what I was hoping for, that I'd get that kind of crowd. It's stuff you need to see. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna get everything switched around. birds and the bees talk you need to just see it you ever wonder because the cat may be wondering their master talks is real time um she probably does i would not be surprised the at potato. All if, if that was the case it would just be like this is life this is life my owner's a weirdo but this is fine that, that's kind of where we're at i think my cat knows i'm a weirdo i mean how could i not be my cats are weirdos so it's just like only fair, right? That 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 I would also be a weirdo. Um, the funny part is they definitely know when I am streaming, and when I am like in a Discord channel. They know the difference, and I don't understand how they could like differentiate that change on their own. It's so strange. Get water, do it. Hey, you guys should you should all drink water. All the water, I got yawns. Ooh. I'm gonna do some bigger pieces today, I think. I'm gonna try to get some more size on this thing. They do have people talking back, but she doesn't hear that because I wear headphones. I told Martha that that's why you turned out gay because she never gave you the time. They can sense our energy? Oh shit. Well that's that's a whole different thing, that poor cat. I don't know. I don't know why she hangs then. <sighs> Such a cute baby though. Okay, we're gonna do this outside piece. Go a little bit at a time. This meeting that you're in is killing you? We're talking in circles, I hate that. I hate that so much, that is the worst. You know, whenever you're in a meeting and you're like, this could absolutely have been an email and there's no fucking donuts, so why am I here? If, if, there, if I'm in a meeting and there's just like no food, no coffee, and, and it's a waste of my time on top of it, it's, it's frustrating. Super, super frustrating. Tina, why are you running in here? Are you hunting? Guys, Tina let me rub her tummy yesterday. She just rolled completely upside down and was like, yes, this is okay. Mute button? <laughs> yeah, until they're trying to freaking talk to you and you're just like, oh, sorry, uh, I accidentally hit the mute button on you, boss man. Well, I just glued my, my, my computer, Jesus. My uh, iPad a bit. You can literally walk away from meetings? That's a ballsy fucking move. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm totally here for it. Totally here for it. But like, damn. How many meetings have you walked away from? Out of curiosity, have you even walked away from any? Huh? Have you? Have you really? I wanna know. Have you taken this advice? This rogue freaking advice? Your cat will let you pet him for hours? all over he'll wiggle your little foot and he'll auto pet oh that's so cute that is so cute the problem is language barriers so now we're just chatting in circle with expectations on our product deadline oh language barriers can be a rough one i've dealt with a few of those um 
but it is not fun. How do I make a DIY fly trap? Are you talking for actual flies or fruit flies? Because there's a difference in what you put in the trap. Bees in the trap, bees, bees in the trap. Except for these flies, they're not even bees. Go to the bathroom, so plenty of times. Fair enough. Engineers versus management. <laughs> Use different language. So you're back and forth. Yes, that is a thing. Crimson, I feel your pain. I've been to a lot of engineering meetings and I'm just like, you guys are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> like, they're the smart idiots. Wonderfully brilliant idiots, but they're idiots. They just, they just, I, I don't even know how to describe it unless you've been there. But there's like no focus <laughs> and everyone's just like, ah, da, da, da. and then it's, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. For anything that flies, um, if it's fruit flies, you want to do a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a dash of like Dawn soap in like a shot glass or a regular size glass if you don't have a shot glass. And um, you, you put a little piece of saran wrap over the top and you poke little holes with a toothpick. So we used to do in the bars to get rid of our fruit flies. Flamethrower works. I completely support that. You got a wireless headset for meetings, watching Twitch on your phone, and reheating your lunch in the kitchen. Okay, that sounds great. That's a good setup. That is a great freaking setup. Doesn't even need to be apple cider, just vinegar. True. Behind the bar, we just had apple cider because we made shrub. Shrub a dub dub. We had this this cocktail we used to make called the Wilford Brindley, and it included a a shrub, which is a vinegar-based kind of uh, thing that you could put into drinks. Think about like kombucha, kind of like that, but not kombucha because there's no scoby. That is interesting. Hi, Goji. What's up? You're on ear. Oh my god. What's up, Earl? Early. Early. I am on early. Why did I say on ear? I mean, technically, if you have headphones on in your ears, which is kind of weird, too. Because if I start whispering, it's like I'm whispering in your ear. Eat a dick. Figured Wilford Brimley would be super sugary for the diabetes. Well, uh, so the Wilford Brimley was named that because it's a beet shrub. Diabetes. <laughs> That's why. You mixed rice vinegar with candy infused vodka once? Do not recommend. That does not sound like candy infused vodka. What are you, why? Why are you doing that? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I will try the vast majority of things at least twice because I, for some reason, gaslight myself the, the first candy. time. Like maybe I did like it, I don't know. So I tried it again. I approve then. You should clarify, it's right now between our scrum master and director. Oh. Engineers are clear on what they're presenting. The master doesn't know how the documents. That's rough. That's rough. Hi, Arch. What's up? Guys, go follow Arch. Oh, do like the Jamie's man thing, but Jamie's man. <laughs> oh my god. That's... <laughs> that was pretty good. That was wonderful. I'm so happy about that. Wait. Wait, what? What are we waiting about? You gifted me a fucking 12 month long gift sub? Koi, you fuck. I'm surprised it took you that long to figure it out. Koi is a sneaky bastard sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Koi is a good noodle. But he could be a sneaky bastard. Damn straight. And I don't even know if I'm, I'm that damn straight. But I'm damn straight enough to know he a sneaky bastard. Sometimes I wish I had like three hands to make this job easier. But I don't, so it's unfortunate I get covered in glue. Never noticed any of them. What are you talking about? I know there's like every single one because I got all. That's a lot. <laughs> Let's see, scope creeper. We've scope creeper to planning several weeks out. We don't feel like wrangling it back in. Sockies are just more entertaining. Let's go for it, man. Do what makes you happy. You do you, Glen Coco. I need to watch movies. No, I need to go to sleep. That's what I need to do. Three hands, like in Total Recall. I think those are boobs. But, uh, you know, I would be okay with either. I will take either boobs or extra hands. 
10 years ago, I asked your childhood sweetheart, your best friend, the most beautiful woman in the world, to marry me, and she said no. Got him! <laughs> I mean, don't got him. Oh man, that would be rough. But, you know, sometimes that's for the best. It's okay. Uh, to quote myself when I was in high school, marriage is a scam! As an adult, I kind of feel the same way now. But, like, for a while, I was like, no, marriage is great. And now I'm like, nah, marriage is still a scam. <laughs> like, it's fine. How are you doing, Overworld? You're doing well? If you put a bra and panties on a water heater, does it make it a hot water heater? Yes. Is that a butterfly in the sky, or can you jump twice as high? It's, oh my god, it's reading rainbow. Marriage is a scam. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a scam that also gives you lots of tax breaks, which is nice. So it's like, yeah, do you do you go into it? It is kind of strange, though, that you have the government say that, like, you can belong to someone else. It's kind of strange when you, when you think of it that way. It's like, oh, I have the government's permission to belong to another person. I belong, officially. Hmm. Butter government than religion. I feel like both can suck a dick, but that that could be because I feel like both are scams. I don't know. I don't know. You're doing the old work alert? You are the best, Arch. You are the best. Hey, how did the rest of that card game game you were playing go? I was super like intrigued by it. You gouged out your own fucking eye for a card? Like, which, why are you doing that? Why, why are you doing that? Religion isn't allowed to suck a dick. Why well, sure an altar boy. Just gonna leave that one there. Just gonna leave that one there. That's fine. You finished it? Was it good? I hope it was good. I hope it was the best. It looked pretty cool. It looked super crazy though. If I was good at card games, I would consider playing it, but I'm terrible at card games because I just, I, I lose focus. That was unwanted. Sorry, uh, Koi, cover your ears. There you go. I mean, it's a little late for you to cover your ears, but uh, I'm, I'm sure the altar boys also agree that it was unwanted. <laughs> Oh, man. 100k karma on Reddit? Wow. No, I don't have a social life. That's pretty cool, though. You should be proud of it. There's nothing wrong with that. You're working really hard at something, and you've been consistent. That's, that's worth being proud of. Absolutely. We have another meeting? Okay, have fun! See you later! Dating sucks. Super hard finding someone with today's standards. Trying to figure ourselves out of the process. That's true. What's karma on Reddit? You don't have the Reddits or, or the, the Twitters. I don't have the Reddits either, but I have friends who care about the karmas. Um, from what I'm aware of, it's kind of like when people upvote your, your message, I think. And it's like how many like upvotes you get. I could be wrong. In fact, there's probably a large chance that I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay. That's a pretty piece. It's a pretty piece. People upvoting and liking your stuff. You can see how that could be addictive. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if anyone likes your memes in the meme section of Discord. Dude, I love your guys' memes. All of the memes. They're just freaking fantastic. Like, all the time. They're so good. Karma's related to how many upvotes you get, and it's separated by post and comment. Oh, that's cool. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Got about one third post and two third comments. Okay. You don't chase the addiction of five second popularity. 
No, don't do that. But also, I don't know. Sometimes it's funny to see what gets popular and what doesn't. And you're just like, really? This is it? This is what you guys wanted to see? Interesting. And then you're just reacting to fart sounds on the internet. And then one thing turns to another. And then, and then you turn into fart girl. And then it gets confusing. And you don't know who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. All because of the fame and the popularity. Fart girl. Fart girl. <laughs> oh my god. Every once in a while, that video will go viral again, and I'm just like, please, no more. No more fart girl. It's kind of funny. I feel like I'm oddly at peace with it at this point. Just like, this is fine. Hi, Nagiri! How are you? Are you doing well? I hope you're doing great! Yep, yep, oh, you'll yep, have time to recover your weapon last. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited to play games with you! Yeah, okay, it's gonna go. be so yeah. much fun! I'm gonna die! I feel like we should try, like... Okay, I've played Phasmophobia a little bit, but not with all of the crazy updates. So that might be easier-ish, because I kind of know about it, but if you want to just throw me into something, then I mean, I'm down for Devour too. Absolutely. Guys, you need to follow Nagiri. She's freaking wonderful and fantastic. So, one, she's a hella good speedrunner when it comes to Monster Hunter games. So freaking good. One, and well two, her knowledge base in the games that she plays is just fran freaking tastic. Like, if you have questions on builds and shit, she got you. She absolutely has you. Um, but yeah, incredibly skilled. Also one of the Capcom creators as well. So check out that shit. If you don't, I'm gonna cry. Play Phasma by yourself once you thought I was gonna have a heart. You played it by yourself. I would have cried. I would have just been like, I'm alone and I'm locked in this house. And I just peed myself. <laughs> You have Phasma, but you don't think you've ever played it. It's good. It is good. Yes, Devour. All right, Devour it is. No, you're awesome. Amazing content creator. You know, it takes one to know one. I mean, that would make the assumption that I'm agreeing with you or that I am, but, like, I think I'm, like, a happy medium content creator. But I will get better in time as I do it more often. It's not literal shit, though. Says you. You weren't wearing the brown pants, but maybe I was. I could have been wearing the brown pants. Who said I'm not wearing the brown pants now? I mean, I'm wearing black shorts, but I could be. In theory. Do that side. Do that one. Outside piece. Cool. Mm -hmm. You have Phasmo too? Nice. You're still in bed? I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit after this. See, on Halloween there were Easter eggs in the lobby. It was a s Oh, what? It was a screamer? You heard your friend scream <laughs> in your life? I would have died! Not physically, but my, my small soul would have left my body if I ran into a ghosty thing in an area of a game that wasn't supposed to have the ghosty things. No ghosty things. And I'm, I'm weepy, weeky weak. So weak. It is super cool with friends, especially if you get someone who's good at it. It was a little bit stressful. I'm happy to be home. I'm super happy to be home. Oh my gosh, it feels great. I'm just like in my own bed. I'm like, yes, this, this is how it should be. <laughs> this is how it should be the whole time. Oh my God. But, um, it's, it's interesting, like, this is my first Tuesday that I haven't been at, like, a normal job working. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, this is all me at this point, fuck. But, uh, it's exciting, it's super exciting. Risk of Raid 1! All of it. You're in the kitchen with a plastic cup. It flew off the table. See? Mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Like, and, and this is where I just scream for my mom. Mommy! And then Mona Pizza would come out of nowhere. 
be like, I'm not your mommy, I'm your daddy. And then I'd be like, fair enough, I'm fine with it. Send it, <laughs> full send. Do, do. I wonder if Mona's doing well. I haven't seen her in a while. Granted, I've been gone for two weeks, so there's also that. Do, do, do. I'm all glowy. Ghost cats? Yeah, cats in general. Um, I think it was one of the first few times I was playing Phasmophobia. So I had this itty bitty little ponytail. Itty bitty. You love nail polish? Well, thank you. I'm actually going to get redone soon. Because I, I had to take off the nail polish on my pointer fingers so that I could be put under anesthesia. So I'm like, oh, I'm naked. Um, but I would have these little, like, plastic, well, they're, they're like little hair ties, but they're really weak. They're like little baby rubber bands. And if, if you're a girl in here, you probably know what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, when I say they're really weak, I mean, like, they're super, super weak. And they just snap pretty easily. Well, it broke in my hair while I was, um, playing Phasmo, and I thought something touched my head. And I like double freaked out. <laughs> I was like, ah! Good times, good times. I'm gonna cut that one there, I think, because this piece is too small. So much pointing, all of it. Tackled your mini Christmas tree? Maybe if it wasn't so mini, it wouldn't be an issue. Hi there, Kangaroo, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Let's see. This piece looks like it should fit. I think, maybe. Yeah, this will be fun. Gotta watch them with friends? I mean, things that are scary are, they're fun to an extent. But yeah, like, I'm, I'm super scaredy pants, man. I can't even do like, like, me and, and haunted stuff, when I say haunted stuff, I mean like haunted hayride shit or, I don't know the other the other things that you can go on like haunted houses. I'm I'm not good at those either. Cause I just make dad jokes. Because I'm scared. When I get scared, I just it's unending horrible dad jokes. And me going, oh no! <laughs> but really on the inside is me going, oh no! <laughs> yep, it's my life. It's a, it's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Give me all the scaries. Okay, Nightmare, if I'm gonna do scary shit in the future, I'll have to hit you up, because I'll be hiding in the van. And Wait, is it true in Phasmophobia that the ghosts can get you in the van now? I know they can get you from doors. Like, thanks, doors. Thought these knobs were gonna do the job, but apparently not. The Conjuring with the roommate? We're kind of drunk and ended up laughing through most of the movie. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. I'd be like, well, I've somehow managed to conjure real ghosts in my house now. Uh, I don't know how. Thought about them too much and apparently they came into existence. Your dad jokes on how to I, it's true. You close your eyes and run. I don't run. That's the worst part. Like, I'm just like a slow moving dad joke NPC that just goes through a haunted area. And it's just like, oh, it's painful. Painful. Angry Kangaroo, you want me to read you a poem? Give me one second. Let me go ahead and finish out these glue spots on here and I will read you a poem. But yeah, it's just. It's so bad. It's so bad. And and because I have played some like stereotypical scary trope games or it's like, all right, so if I'm in a like a haunted area or whatever and it's like an insane asylum, I'm like, oh God, these guys are going to break out of the rooms. Like, here we go. And I'm like, oh no, Jimmy's out. And it's like, ah. <laughs> it's just, it becomes painful for everyone involved, I assure you, including the actors, because they're just like, what is wrong with this person? I'm like, I don't know. They don't follow you on the truck, thank God. There's a spooky game called Ghost Exorcism, something like that. It follows you on the truck? Tell them no. <laughs> like, Excuse me? Do you have license and registration for this oh, truck? I don't think you should be on here, you motherfucker. <laughs> like, get out. And then, and that's how it would go. And 
and then I would be super scared and then it would be waiting outside the truck and then I would never leave the truck and it would see exactly I'm already getting nervous oh just like that that's how it begins Hannah's a nervous wreck always it's constant it is a constant with planks constant all right so you want a poem wait I can reach it I can do it I did it we have where the sidewalks end where the sidewalk ends. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Hup up. We have Traffic Light by Shel Silverstein. The traffic light simply would not turn green, so the people stopped to wait. As the traffic rolled and the wind blew cold, the hour grew dark and late. Zoom vroom trucks, trailers, bikes, and limousines clattering by me oh my. Won't that light turn green? By the days turned weeks and the weeks turned months. And there was one on the corner that stood, twiddling their thumbs till the changing comes the way good people should. If you walk by that corner now, you may think it's rather strange to see them there as hopeful of gaze with, they, with the very same smile on their very same face as they politely stand in a very same place and wait for the light to change. I'm pretty sure that shit was a stop sign and they were just stoned as fuck and couldn't tell the difference. But... Tis a ch you know a children's poem, so I, I doubt that was what they were thinking, but it could be, it could be. Mm -hmm. And Hannah yelled at her. What? What, you, what did I yell at? Chief seeing lots of people going to creepy places like graveyards at night or abandoned buildings at night. Why are people doing that? Why? I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, go the fuck home. Do it. Just making sure mom's okay. Oh my goodness! I didn't yell at her. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Nope, for me, I wouldn't. Guts filled with vodka. I feel like vodka guts is a weird rendition on, on vodka pasta sauce, and I don't know how I feel about it. Other than weird. I feel weird about it. Where do I want to put this moss? I'm going to fuck this one a little bit different. I could have phrased that so many better ways, and it just didn't happen did not happen. That's you with ghosts? I think it says eat my ass spirits <laughs> in the link. Oh my god. Okay, so really it's like in the day, but less lights, that's all. Forest at night though, you hear stuff moving in the dark, you really can't see far. You can't see shit. Most people would feel drunk, that's fair. I know, I know, okay? I have horrible freezing. I'm blowing a bubble with my, with my glue. It's a glue bubble. Bubble glue. It's like those, do you guys remember those balloons that were like made of plastic that you could blow? They're called bubbleloons. And I'm pretty sure anyone who did them was like, wow, I can taste the cancer now. Like it was just so bad for you in every way, shape and form. It was just like, oh good God. And I'm like, yep, I did those probably a little too much as a kid. Probably. We're gonna pretend that hook's down there, and then I won't have to do anything to it. Cool. That's the one that says, don't eat it. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't eat my ass spirits. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is there one that says, eat my ass spirits? Because, I mean, one of those sounds a little bit more spicy than the other. Depending on how you feel about your spirits. Maybe. Maybe. Do I want to start this in reverse? Do I want to bend it, flip it, and reverse it? They sell the liquid balloons. They're so weird. They're so weird. I wonder if the person who invented them were just like, oh god, I can't believe I made that like way back when. I feel like that stuff sold in like the as seen on TV section. Mm, I'll put it here. Mm. How are you supposed to prevent the ghost from haunting you with a crucifix if you don't have one? It makes no sense. I'm gonna die. Um. Just be like, uh, insert crucifix here, bro. 
there, or just tell them that you're waiting on the Amazon shipping. It, it's not your fault. You would have been prepared. They need to respect the fact that you have already ordered it. And then quickly when they leave, or when they're thinking about it, make sure you order one so, so that, you know, you have proof. Proof of crucifix. Soap is also a liquid balloon. She's very delicate. I'm very delicate too. There's people marrying ghosts? But what if the ghost was already married? Like, how do you marry? Would they? I don't know. I feel like that would be a strange thing. Do they get your life insurance policy <laughs> after you die? Like, who gets that shit? You can't will anything over to them. You can't pass that spiritual plane. People are so interesting. I swear. They're talking to the ghost and the ghost is consenting. If they need to go to couples counseling, do they have to see like a psychic or a medium in order to do it? Like, what if the person's like, I don't want you to haunt me anymore, Kevin. Kevin's like, no baby, we're married. I can haunt you as long as I want. But then like, what if they move out? Can they still like be married if, it, if they're tied to a physical location? I have questions that need answers. Lots of them, lots of them. Kind of, I guess, imaginary friends, but they probably don't view it that way. They are deceased. Yeah, if they're dead, I mean, they can't necessarily consent either. I, that is complicated. Shit be complicated. Like, damn. Are the Ghostbusters hitmen? I, I would say yes. I would like to say they are hitmen. But that's just me wanting them to be a hitman because it would be a completely different uh movie tone you know if they were that'd be it but yeah okay so that one's put here oh fuck hey you dirty hoe Mad girl, what's up? How are you? Are you doing good? Okay, so you know how they have those little, like, spirit boxes, right? Where they're supposed to talk to you through it? Is that, for a ghost, like, the equivalent of calling into a radio station? Because I feel like it'd be the same. Be like... Hey DJ, I'm calling in about those tickets. It's like, oh, you want me out of this house? Well, fuck you! And then they get angry and then start throwing shit. Yeah, you have been streaming. You absolutely have been. What's the Stanley Parable? I like that you play such interesting games. I love it. You're stressed. You have your second attempt at an ADHD test, bro. When, when you say attempt... What do you, out of curiosity, what do you mean in a, in a second attempt? Like, did you just run out of time the first time or something? Or like, does it have to be in one sitting? Or... How, how did you do yours? A ghost escort service. It could be, it could be. Maybe, maybe that's what they want. They're just looking for some snugs, man. They haven't had snugs in how many years? Like a hundred? They just want snugs. Snuggy ghosts. Oh, you're getting a second opinion. Gotcha. Well, yeah. I think that's smart. Second opinions are always smart. Good call. Good freaking call. I hope everything goes well, though. Because I know that those can be, uh, that can be stressful. Are you going to go on meds if they give you the option to? 
at the time of the test or <laughs> something and be like, yeah, they couldn't concentrate on answering the question. There are a lot of questions on that test, too. Like, a significant amount. Assuming that they're following, like, the DSM-5 or something. We're done with the game for now? Okay, just scared the shit out of yourself and you need to sleep later. Oh, God. Proud of you. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? Okay, that piece is in. Cool, so that's gonna be all the moss. And now we're gonna get into tree bark, so I'm gonna do the top boys. Top boys! It's not like that kind of test. It's true. Why did you try to play it? Homie, don't play that. Maybe, maybe she just wanted it to be her best, you know? Do the very best on that test. Yeah. Do I want to do this in odd pieces? Also, yep. Out of focus on the small mushroom? Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. But yeah, hopefully it'll start doing some stuff. Sometimes this camera gets a little funky. Also, the lighting appears to be like messing with it a bit too. Hmm. I bet it's because the window light, because there's window coming in through that. Or there's light coming in through that window. Feel a lot of pressure? Since if this one's negative, the psychiatrist is going to not give you any more referrals. Oh. Well, I don't think that's necessarily like a good route either. Jeez, that sucks. Huh, it's like a whole different facility. Gotcha, gotcha. That's that's just not fun. That's so stressful. That is so stressful. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Best way to do this. Are they also testing you for ADD as well as ADHD? Or is it only for ADHD? Because maybe you don't have the hyper. I don't have the hyper. Believe it or not. Hi, Irish. How are you doing? You doing well? Long time no see. Hope things have been wonderful on your end. It definitely feels good to be back. I missed it. Hanging in there? How are you? Doing the same. Still recovering from um, the procedure I had, so I'm just like trying to take things slow and it's it's just, it's difficult. It's never fun feeling like your body is not doing what it usually does. It's just like, God damn it, get it together, bod. Get it together. I did not move. No, I just went to, uh, are you talking about Irish Mike? I'll say, I just went to Chicago for my egg donation stuff, but no moving for me, but Irish Mike might have. I feel like I need to try to find a way to move that ring light because it's making it so you can't see what I'm working on. 
unless I can just really angle this higher, maybe that'll change it a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, I will be moving to Canada, though. I moved some eggs. I did move some eggs. I moved 15 freaking eggs, man. 15. Yeah, that move's gonna happen in September, so I've got a while before that one. Oh, man, hopefully next month, though, I should find out about my rooming, and, and by that I mean whether or not I, find, I have a studio apartment. I hope to God I have a studio apartment. Otherwise, I'm gonna be so sad. I'll be like, why? Why are you doing this to me, man? Way. Oh, I'm so excited. That's wonderful. That is so freaking wonderful. Oh my god. Tell him congratulations. That's such a big deal. I mean, he may not see it as a big deal, but I think it's a big deal. That's a wonderful accolade. Getting an art festival is so sweet, man. Yeah, I would be upset I got canceled last year, too. He's probably working overtime on jewelry. The third time since he graduated? See that? That's great. That's so great. Congrats. Congrats, congrats, congrats. You got first place for jewelry too? Oh! Never mind. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope it goes great. Long wires are hard to tame, is probably the best way to put it. I'm a brat tire, tire wire tamer. Maybe, maybe that's accurate, because these, these wires are definitely freaking brats sometimes. First year was the year out of graduation. See, that's cool. So he's done this for, for a good while, then. Second time one of the judges was this chick. She plagiarized his art? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? How? Did she just, like, straight up rip off one of his designs? Because, like, that's not okay. Oh, that's frustrating. That is so frustrating. Do you have a potato? We got a potato? Marshall, how are you doing? Thanks for continuing your sub. How have you been? Been doing well? I hope you're doing fantastic. He still had the mold so he could see that it was identical. Made out of a cuttlefish bone, so it was pretty distinct. So how the heck did she get it? Like, did she make a similar mold? Or did she just straight up jack his?
He let her use a mold he made back in college for a project. She made a copy of it and she was selling earrings of it. Ooh. The scandal. The absolute scandal. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. That is so stressful, like, as an artist, to think that someone could rip off my work. Which is super true. Someone could absolutely rip off of my work. That's usually why I don't put any of my um, designs on, like, Instagram until they are complete and have my name on them. Speaking of which, I need to make sure I put my name on this one. Um, that's important. But that's super scary. It's just like, that sucks. That sucks so bad. like delusional enough where she actually thought it was like her intellectual property because if so that's bullshit too she took it down when he asked her to but she didn't like him yeah I bet she was making good profit off of it yeah it's not hard to make a mold or a copy of a mold you're right But yeah, I, I would have asked her to take it down too. Be like, what the fuck, man? Try to fuck with my business. Super high quality, which like it's stuff tourists and stuff would like. How did she end up judging a competition? Is it just who you know kind of thing? You just okay. You'd be surprised. It can be very hard to be a decent person, and I I don't understand why because I'm like to think of myself as a decent person personally but um yeah it's that's a thing that is absolutely a thing The other huge jewelry in the community was a gigantic bitch who was really, oh god, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. That sucks. Yeah, I'm doing an art thing. What's up, Dale? You doing well? You doing Dale-tastic? Is, is, is that, is that the right term? Dale, are you fantastic? Shit, I'm blind. Guys, go follow Dale. Dale is wonderful when it comes to, like, shooters and things like that. He's good at the pew pew pews. Absolutely good at the pew pew pews. Dude, I wish this camera was coming in clearer. That or I can't tell if my, my stream quality is just like my frameies are shit or something. Hi Drift, how have you been? You doing well? You're existing as Dale? I don't know if I'm fantastic. Uh, I feel that. I feel that. I'm existing currently as Hannah. Guys, go follow Drift too. Do it, do it, do it. That was cut way at the wrong spot. Let's try that again. Mushrooms are starting to take shape. I need to like, I turn this ring light significantly. Is that gonna make a difference? Maybe if I turn off the ring light, it'll help, but I don't know if it'll help me. Maybe. As craters of the moons of Jupiter, that's impressive. You changed your hair, what'd you do to it? That was awesome. Can't wait to change my hair up. 
By that I mean just get it dyed again. Yeah, go follow Drift too. Every once in a while Drift does some art streams. He's also a musician. Followed. Otherwise, how are you gonna get like super famous? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, are you like this is fine? That's that's absolutely fine. I cannot follow. <laughs> Did you eat all your snacks yet, Drift? It's been like two weeks. I I expect them all to be gone in their entirety. Treats to pets, air crickets. Okay, give me a second. Let me get this uh, this glue done. This section glued. And I will absolutely give the wonderful Ricky Crickies some snacks. She's gonna love that. She's gonna get so fat now. Oh God, I need to think about it. She's gonna get so fat. She's gonna be the fattest. You ate the entire bag of gummies? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wham, damn. Borderline, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so this is here. Okay. Entire bag. Holy shit. That's how you get diabetes! I can't judge. I'm almost done with mine, too. It is gonna fatten up drift like Hansel and Gretel. Oh. Delicious. You know me. Just uh, your your neighborhood, uh, you know, children eater. God, that sounds terrible. I'm not a witch, I promise. Okay, that one's done. Almost done. Cannibalism is bad. Okay. Well. Don't knock it till you try it? I don't know. That'd be a strange conundrum. Like, like, what if you were at a barbecue and then you found out later, like, it was actual, like, people? Like, what if you accidentally, accidentally did it? Like, We've seen how Americans eat to suicide for arteries. That is true. Not a witch? Quick, get the duck. We must test this. Good luck catching the duck. Ducks are hard to catch. I would know. I always try to catch them when I'm at, like, anywhere with a pond, because I think they're so cute, and I just want to hold them and figure out exactly how much they weigh so that I can make sure that, you know, I, I weigh more than a duck. Duh. Obviously. Love the title. Well, Deep Dish, how are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, that happened when eating a- what? Oh, really? You are eating a dog and a cat in China? You can find out until after you already finished. Like, that has to be, like, a very, God, stressful situation. Because if you, if you didn't, quote unquote, consent to eating those animals, and then you just did, it's just like, what do you do? I mean, you got, you could try to, like, puke them up, but, like, the deed has been done. That, that's super, super upsetting spaghetti. Little deep dish, and how have you been? You guys doing well? You generally eat pretty healthy? That is true. I feel like, Arch, you'd be the type of person to definitely take care of your body. I'm gonna just wrap this one here, I think. Yeah, that looks good. All right, treats for cats. Hi, Ricky. You want a treat? Hello, Bindi. Frick 
fucking bad. Oh, man. I feel like it's gonna be a busy summer in general. I'm super excited though. You accidentally ate people at a barbecue, consulted doctor, and an orthodox priest. Okay, well that's fair. I know you're not supposed to eat anything close to the brainstem because it makes people go crazy. I don't know why or how I know that, but uh, supposedly that's a thing. I mean, trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but maybe you can trust me. Maybe. Prions? 13, 37, what? Oh, what? What? I was like, it's 12.37. Oh, because you're in a different time zone. I got so confused. How? How is he still alive? Hey, the Maggie Maggie. Bams. Oh, come what on. What are you doing, guys? Just go follow Hold on, me. shambles. He's like Some crazy shit happened. Please, reload the fucking... <laughs> Him and Soft Octopus are just wonderful freaking people. Like, you should absolutely support them. They're a hoot. They're great. They're just freaking great. Their streams are parties. Our work is definitely coming along. You wanna see more of it? Ugh. So this is some more of it. That's 137 for those who don't know 24 hour time. Oh my god. It, it's, oh jeez, you guys are terrible. You are wonderful people. But you are wonderful people. You're all the wonderful people. You guys are all great. It makes me so happy. Like, I'm so happy with the amount of people and cool streamers that I've met on this app. Like, it's just, just so cool seeing all the different streaming styles. Because I'm like, huh, maybe I'm normal. <laughs> I mean, we all know I'm not normal. But I like to think, like, maybe in a parallel universe, like, one version of me is, is maybe normal. That'd be great. That'd be so great. I would love that. That'd be neat. <laughs> that would be so neat. Actually, I could probably do that on a single piece, but I'm going to do it on two pieces to accentuate it's a different part of a mushroom. I'm searching for some sunshine. Mushroom, 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 mushrooms. Just need one ray through the dark skies. Ah, it stuck to my whole freaking hand. That's unfortunate. You're excellent, which is better than being normal. Crack, and you were the sweetest, the absolute sweetest. I, I don't know why, you've always gotten by military time, have you? Two pieces. Noted! Always noted. I'm so gluey. I'm gluey balooey up in this bitch. I don't think that's a term, but I'm gonna make it into one, cause why not? Wow, I really got covered in blue that time. I'm sure in an alternate universe, there's part of you that has a girlfriend. There's probably another alternate universe where part of you has a boyfriend. Get spicy with it. Mmm. Who knows? That's the wonderful world of alternates, right? Anything could happen. Absolutely anything. Who knows? Maybe you were, you, you decided you wanted to be a dancer. Or you decided that you wanted to be a fireman. Or a taxi driver. I mean, you've got all these options. In parallel universes, you can be whatever the fuck you want to be. Or what you wanted to be. Past tense. Be a fucking wizard. I don't know. Getting a few things done around the apartment. Being productive. Being productive is hard. Good job. That's no easy task. <laughs> no easy task at all. I want alternate universe of me to be just like you. But in a healthy relationship with some nice girl. Oh. It's okay. I'm sure in some alternate version of me. That I will also be in a healthy relationship. Maybe with some nice girl. Maybe with some nice dude. I don't know. But hopefully it's healthy. That eh, shouldn't be a strange concept. You need to have a better understanding of your own self-worth. Here's the thing. If you can't even value yourself... How is someone else gonna value you more? If you don't make time for yourself and put yourself as a priority, how is someone else gonna see that you are worth being set as a priority? Gonna have to step it up, my dude. Gonna have to step it up. 
treat yourself well. You're worth it and you deserving of it. Because there is no one else that is like you. You are different. And I'm sure you're different in very interesting, quirky ways. But there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't use that difference to be an asshat. Don't be an asshat. No excuse for that. And this could be an alternate universe where you fail. Well, then you can get into, are you in the best timeline? You know, maybe. But if you make choices that would align with what you would probably do in the best timeline, it's safe to assume that you're in the best one. I'm a mod for him. <laughs> It's more like no one has been interested. You don't even know if anyone's been interested. You can't, you can't quantifiably measure that because one, if you're going after women, for example, we throw off tons of mixed signals. I don't know when women are hitting on me either. Like you can't tell, you can't tell that someone is absolutely not hitting on you. You can, you just don't know. And you can't tell if they're not interested because they could be interested and then think that you're never interested in them so why would they pursue you so it's, it's a whole game of cat and mouse but never make assumptions never make assumptions Mm-hmm. in an alternate universe you're a mod for hanag oh there's probably there yeah there would have to be a hanag in an alternate universe too i was thinking about typing that too oh my god Oh my freaking god. You guys are just the bestest. You all make me so happy. You do. Feel that struggle. It's real in these days especially. I feel it too. Y'all can shut the fuck up. I'm also single. It's not like I'm not. Like, <laughs> doesn't matter where you are or how appealing you think you are or how appealing you think you are in consideration to like other people around you, your ass can still end up single. Like, <laughs> it's just one of those things that happen. But tis life. Life is complicated. You get it easier than any of us. See, now that's where that assumption is absolutely wrong. If I went ahead and told you about the train wreck relationships I've been in that have led for me being into like, I don't know, therapy for two solid years and having ridiculous hangups because of it, I would have picked being single that whole time than, than being in those relationships. So I don't have it easier. I don't. Um, I, I really don't. I am single as a Pringle, man. Single as a Pringle. I decided when I go to Canada, I might give dating another chance, but it'll be the last chance I get it, and I will choose to be single for the rest of my little life. If it does not go well, which is fine. I also have no issue with that. But it's just... Yeah, don't, don't make assumptions. Assumptions are stupid, and generalizations are dangerous. There's no need for them. Hello, gray one. How have you been? It's an option. It is an option. Trust me when I say, as someone who has been in any, sometimes you're better off single. And realistically, if you can't love yourself when you're single, how the fuck are you going to love someone else? Maybe you're not ready for a relationship. Maybe that's why you're single. Four days off with pay? Hell yeah. When are you heading to Canada? So I head to Canada in September. So I'll be here for a little bit longer um, where I'm at, which will be good because it will give me a chance to kind of go through all my shit and get my bearings and get ready for a really long car ride, like 15 hours to Ottawa. Um, I'm going to have to break down my whole stream setup and everything. But on the cool side, it does give me an opportunity to redo it when I'm there. Okay, this, this thing is not too long. I'm getting stuck on stuff. Morning naps are a miracle. Agreed. Can I get an amen? Amen. Canadian sake.
Polonian, I am not sure what you are trying to say or get from this conversation. But I don't think COVID is a good excuse for not loving yourself. Rule of thumb. Dude, just Lamar, thank you for summoning with your prime. I appreciate you. I'm a trash pile. <laughs> Wait, I'm a trash pile who's a mess and isn't worth much. To me, it's the biggest thing that you could do to change your own perception about yourself. To find things to improve on yourself and then act on it and be consistent. Consistency is the hardest thing. I've never felt better about myself than when I was working towards improving myself and the things I recognize issues about yourself. Yes, absolutely. There's one thing that frustrates me more than anything. It's a pick me. It's a motherfucking pick me. Because it's like, do something. Do something about it. Make yourself a catch. If you don't view yourself as a catch, why are you okay with leaving yourself in the state in which you are already in? Like, if you're being rude to the people around you, and, and you don't have a good personality, figure out if you're happy with your personality because if you're not happy then maybe figure out what traits you admire and find ways to get them and acquire them and work towards it what are we doing today I'm making a cloisonne so i'm working with wire i'm a cash 22 pick me it's called a pick me it's the i'm sad no one will love me i guess i'll never oh i'll be alone forever and when people do that, they're looking for someone to be like, no, you won't be alone forever. Things will be better. Like, here, I'll, I'll love you. But it's like, no, you don't love yourself. I'm not gonna give, you know, you that, that freaking confirmation that you're looking for. It's like, that's not how this works. It's not, it doesn't drive on pity. You don't want to date someone that, that you pity. We had a guy in here at one point that was hardcore doing that and I called him on it and I was like, Hey, if you're gonna be in here, don't be a fucking pick me. And he finally stopped and actually just started enjoying his time in here and I was like, thank you. Because it makes my job easier as a streamer when I don't have someone pulling down the chat. So this section over here is dead. Wow, we're, we're doing so good on these mushrooms. Making the chat question themselves is my job. You have a, that's your job? How much do you get paid? <laughs> hmm. I think, I think I'm gonna call it for today. Oh shit, no, I'd have one more line to do. Then I'll call it. I got one left. My glue is just making little beads. If you're, you're not enjoying your time with Hannah, you should find somewhere else to go or learn to enjoy where you are. Yes. Oh my god, yes. That's so true. Absolutely true. So, Great One, what are you gonna do with your break? You've got all this time now. And it's freaking paid. That's awesome. You get paid in their tears. Do you sell them on the internet? Because you would make so much money. <laughs> Gamer tears. Oh, of course. What more line to do? Noted. You took up guitar and streaming, and you can't practice as much as you want to, but you're improving slowly. Dude, that's freaking great. I I have no guitar skills. Um, I, I took, like, one guitar... I only took one lesson, okay? I can't even be like, I have no guitar skills. I did not invest enough time to develop guitar skills. That's probably what it should be said and how it should be said. But maybe at some point, I will try that again. Other news, I am gonna take, I'm gonna take dance lessons, I think. I'm gonna take dance classes with one of my friends. I don't know what kind of dance it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be like modern or like hip hop or if it's gonna be like Foxtrot. Like I have no clue, but I decided that I'm gonna try doing dance classes. So let's say guitar. Mm-hmm, Arch did. Archival. 
And his guitar. Ugh. Could be a dancing queen. I'd have to be a queen first, but like I bet I have the wigs for it. Um I don't know. Okay, so I'm doing this thing. It's called um, The Artist's Way, and it's a it's a book slash journaling program that lasts like 12 weeks, and it's supposed to help with writer's blocks. Not writer's blo blocks, but like artist blocks and things of that nature. And honestly, it's been really good and super fruitful, so I'm very happy with it. But um, a lot of times it asks you things like, hey, what did... You know, if you if you weren't limiting yourself, what is something that you'd like to try? And I was like, you know, I think I'd like to try taking a dance class. And then I was like, fuck it. Why don't I just take a dance class and see if it's something that I like and that I'm good at? Um, so me and a group of friends are doing this. And we kind of meet up almost like a book club style. And we talk about the weeks, which is really, really cool. And really nice seeing other people's opinions on some of the the little, um, what's it called, activities that you have to do to help, you know, boost your creativity and everything like that. Abba spelled backwards is Abba. <laughs> Derp. Uh, and so one of my friends in there, she was like, Hannah, do you have a hard time, like, expressing anger? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. I absolutely do. I'm like, I have resting smiley face. I've never actually physically screamed like full screen I, I i can't remember a time where i've done that ever like i've never done it i've never tried it. i don't even know if i could um because i've never done it so it's like what if it turns out i'm just always like max down here yeah it's something that i don't express and um or at least verbally i mean i can tell someone i'm pissed and angry yeah but i won't outwardly i guess express the emotion it's kind of like stunted but, uh, Banshee Scream. Yeah, I've never done that. Uh-uh. Any tips for dealing with burnout? Yes. Go outside. And when I say go outside, I mean, go outside and do something that, like, would fuel your inner child. So, like, go to an aquarium and just spend the day at an aquarium by yourself if you can. Or, like, go to a zoo. Uh, go to a park. And, like, go look at flowers. Go look at things, like, and actually, like, spend time with them and just enjoy your time and find out the things that are like, wow, that looks really cool, and then hang out there and just see all the ideas that come back to you. It's interesting. But, um, so my friend who was talking about the anger thing, she's like, well, you know, you can always try, like, dance because, like, when people do interpretive, not necessarily interpretive dance, but, like, contemporary dance, like, it demonstrates different emotions. And I was just like... I guess my body could maybe express anger better than like my head can. And I never thought about that, but I'm like, maybe that's something that's worth looking into. Like maybe that can help me get out of whoops, that, uh, that odd blockage that I have. It's not even related to what's giving burn. Yes, absolutely. That's the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Your cat prevents that. Put your cat in a backpack and go. Wait, why does your cat prevent you going to an aquarium? Cats are like the the most leavable pet that you could get other than a fish. Like, put your, don't bring your cat, bring your, you know? Don't do that. <laughs> There's a lack of rest, but Hannah is right as well. If you're angry, you don't show it outwardly. I get cold and calm outwardly. I'm the same way, I'm the same. Respond to the wrong thing. Cat prevents sleep. Oh, that makes way sense. Yeah, I get that. My cats kind of do that too. A turtle? Okay. I've never owned a turtle, so I don't know how much work goes into having a turtle. But turtles are pretty cool. I like turtles. Turtles are pretty awesome. I like turtles. Yeah, like, burnout's a thing. It is a super big thing. Um, I was having some burnout this past few weeks because I wasn't doing anything creative at all because I was stuck in a hotel room. Uh, but one of those days, I ended up going to the Chicago Botanical Gardens, and it helped so much oh my god i loved it i absolutely loved it i had so much fun and i was just looking at all the different types of plants um the chicago botanical gardens have a bunch of little baby islands and they're all japanese themed and they have like really cool bridges that are zigzag they have little rock gardens that have you know uh the raking around them it was just it was really cool 
super, super cool. Anger is too easily obtainable these last few years. Then you need to work on controlling yourself too. Like, you don't have to unbridledly experience your emotions, but it is good to experience them and then let them go. Everything in moderation, you know? Yeah, it's super hard for me to get mad too, Arch. It takes a lot. Unless if it's my brother making a stupid ass TikTok about something he should be taking a TikTok about. But that's different. Um, I'm gonna figure out who we're gonna raid. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We get to make new friends, eventually. language um that's rough that, that's that's rough props to you props to you for sure for learning that oh god thank you to, oh the conservatory is free it's just up the road yeah go go to it go check that shit out this stuff is fun also like i've got this mentality now and i don't know if it's because like part of me is jaded or what whatnot but if you wait forever for for someone like to ask you to go to places, the places that you want to go. I need someone to die. Oh my god. Whew. Well, there you go. That's Keisha Lily. We're <laughs> gonna raid them. But yeah, if you if you want to go somewhere and you're waiting for someone to ask you if you want to go, you're gonna be waiting forever. Just go take yourself. Yourself is enough. Go enjoy your time. Also, people don't think you're weird when you go by yourself. I know you may think so, but people really don't fucking care. They don't care. Mm-hmm. Man. Discord loud noise. I know, it scared me. It scared me. A full day full of unwanted surprises. Oh, God. That sounds like fun. Well, let's go show some love. I'll see you guys later tonight, okay? Get some tiny Tina. Tiny, tiny Tina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I think we did good. Good day. High five. Good job. Mm-hmm.